Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, then I welcome you. If you love watching handbag videos and a little bit of this and that, then certainly hit the subscribe button. But let's go ahead and jump into this video. Today's video was inspired by one of my favorite YouTubers that I love to watch. Her name is Delena and her channel name is Brown Girl Lux. She recently did a video on luxury handbags that she recommend under 2000. Such an amazing video, y'all. I'll definitely leave it below if you wanna check it out. But when watching her video, it really got me thinking because there are a few like designer bags in my collection that I would recommend. So today, y'all, I wanted to come on and talk to you all about designer handbags that I recommend under $600. I will go ahead and say, y'all, that every single one of the bags that I am going to be showing you, you can definitely get on sale for well under their retail price. But for the purpose of the video, I will be telling you all their retail prices. So I did pull from a few different brands within my collection. So we're gonna go ahead and get on started. Guys. Now the first bag that I am going to recommend y'all is a bag that has been the it bag for a while now. All of the girlies rave about this bag y'all as they should because this bag is definitely a vibe. Very, very nice carry. So the bag that I am talking about is the Marc Jacobs tote bag. Now I do have this bag style in a variety of sizes as well as material. This one here in particular, y'all, is the small size in the leather, and this is actually in the color sun. You may not be able to find this exact color on the website, but Mar Jacobs has a variety of colors, y'all, that you can choose from. And right now, this bag actually retails for $3.95. For $3.95, you can get a really nice all leather bag, and you just cannot beat that, y'all. I love the way that this bag is structured. I love that when you use this bag with time, the leather does soften up, but it does soften up in a way where you do still have structure to the bag as well. This bag can be carried as a top handle, but it does also come with a crossbody strap as well, which I have not used, as y'all can see, I still have the wrapping on it. And then with this bag here too, you'll even get a dust bag. So again, y'all, I think that this is a great bag. I highly recommend it. I do have videos up showing you all like, um, showing like what all fits in it. So um, be sure to check out my Marc Jacobs playlist as well. When it comes to the inside, y'all, it is going to be all leather within this bag. Like you really just cannot beat that. And it does come with a slip pocket on the back as well. So yeah, I really, really love this bag and I can definitely see why it is still the it bag because it is just that good. Um, I did actually pull out my leather one as well. So this is the leather one in the medium size and this color is actually in the color Regal Orchid. Again, this color is not available, but there are other colors that you can choose from. And this bag actually retails for $4.50, which again, I think is an amazing deal for an all leather bag. And this is a true medium in my opinion. So I can easily carry this bag as an everyday bag. You can even carry this bag as like a word bag or even as a school bag. It'll definitely fit all of your items. And then if you are more like on a budget but still want to have a Marc Jacobs tote, I do also have it in the canvas too. So it does come in the canvas. Now this bag here is also the medium size. This is in the color lipstick pink. Again, not a color that's available currently, but there are other colors on the site. And this bag here retails for $1.95 and I do highly recommend it. I will say though, if you are gonna get the canvas bag and you're gonna use it for like an everyday carry, just know that this bag can easily get dirty. Um, I'm actually just looking at the bag here and you guys probably aren't gonna be able to see it, but I have like dirt spots on here that I did not even realize. So I definitely need to um, wipe this bag down before I put her back up. But yeah, just know that the canvas will be more prone to dirt over the leather one. So moving on to the next bag, y'all. The next designer bag that I wanna recommend is my Brandon Blackwood Daphne bag, y'all. This is my latest Daphne bag. I first purchased it in the brown color and I really, really love the carry of it so much and I was very, very impressed with the craftsmanship of this bag. So when Brandon Blackwood dropped his spring collection, I just knew that I needed to get another one 
in my collection. So I did recently pick up this mint color, y'all, and it's absolutely gorgeous. This bag, y'all, only retails for $235, which you just cannot beat that for an all leather bag. Like once again, y'all, this is a bag that is all leather. Um, I love this bee here on the front. It's very like um sturdy and um weighty. That's the word I'm looking for. Very weighty. Like, you can just feel the quality of this bag. Um, the leather of it is so, so nice. And then, like I said, it is an all-leather bag. So, you do get a dust bag. I have it stuffed in here. You do get a dust bag with this bag. And then, I'm going to show y'all this interior here. Just in case you miss the unboxing of this baby. Oh, look at this bag. This bag is so gorgeous, y'all. So as you can see on the inside, it is all leather in there. And I love that it's the same color as the outside of the bag. You get a zip pocket, and then on the other side, you get a slip pocket. So for $235, you are getting an all leather bag. And I can definitely see this bag being a nice casual bag um, if you're going out for brunch, dinner, or even like a date night, I think that this is a great, great option. So the next bag that I wanna recommend to you all is by the brand Coach, and this is my Coach Terry shoulder bag, y'all. So this bag I did get from the outlet. This is a really, really good bag. So this bag does retail for $3.59, but of course, you know, when going into the outlet, you're never, ever, ever going to pay retail for an outlet bag. So I know that I had got this bag for a great deal. I wanna say I probably paid like $1.19 for it, but it is such a good bag, y'all. I recently told you all about how I inquired this bag um, in my denim collection video. And y'all, this bag is definitely going to be a forever piece for me. So it does come with this top handle here. So it comes with the top handle. And then with the um, Terry shoulder bag too, y'all, they do come with a strap as well. And so let me show y'all the strap here. So you do get a strap with this bag. And the, the hardware is so nice on it. And I love this bag here too, y'all. This is a bag that I like to carry when I don't have to carry a lot of items and when I want to be more carefree. So with this one here, y'all, I'm easily able to just throw it over my shoulder and do what I need to do. Like, it is just so good. It looks really good against the frame. And yeah, you just cannot beat this. I highly, highly recommend this Terry shoulder bag. So the next bag that I would like to reveal to you all is the Coach Bandit Crossbody Bag, y'all. This is such the cutest little bag. So as y'all can see, I got it in this plaid color. I picked this bag up on last year from the Coach Reserve. And I can't remember how much I paid for it. I want to say probably about $150. But either way, y'all, this bag only retails for $350. So Coach just recently came out with a new colorway too, where the hardware and the color of the bag is all the same color. And those bags retail for $352. Um, I wouldn't recommend those per se just because with time the hardware is going to chip on that bag but some of their other um, bags that have either the silver hardware or the gold hardware on them I would definitely recommend those to you. This is another bag that I feel is carefree and I do find that y'all when it comes to coach most of my bags are pretty small and easy grab and go carries. So just to take you guys around this bandit here, here is the side of it, and you do get this cute little hang tag. Forgot to mention too, as y'all can see, the Terry actually has the hang tag as well. And that's the thing with the coach items, you will get a coach hang tag with your piece, which is such a nice touch in my opinion. But this little crossbody, y'all, even comes with a back slip pocket. I did do a video on this one too, just showing you what all this bag can fit. So I'll be sure to link that for you too. But the organization is pretty decent in here too. You get a back slip pocket as well as a snap pocket. There's your main compartment. And then there is another uh, pocket here too. And this is another thing that I love y'all. This bag is all leather. So for $350, you can get an all leather coach bag. And you just cannot beat that y'all because as y'all know, coach is really going up in price when it comes to their items, which I get because they're just very popular and they're doing so well right now. So yes, I highly recommend you picking up a Bandit Crossbody if you've had your eye on it, especially before the price increases. And you know what, y'all? I am over here pumping y'all up, telling y'all to get a Bandit, and I don't pump my own self up. Now I want another Bandit. <laughs> 
So the next bag on my list that I want to talk about, y'all, is from the brand Michael Kors. Michael Kors is one of the, those brands, y'all, that will always have my heart. I've always admired his items. I know that a lot of people rock coach back in high school, but for me, I always admired looking at the Michael Kors bags. Now, I didn't own one in high school, but once I started making my own money, I definitely did pick up a bag or two or three. <laughs> The next bag, y'all, that I would like to recommend is this bag right here. This is actually the Maryland Medium Satchel, y'all. And this is actually in the red liqueur color. And this bag is so, so good, y'all. Another one that I feel is well worth it, in my opinion, even at the retail price, actually. So this bag actually retails for $298. And this is a retail bag, y'all. So this isn't from his outlet. This is from his retail store. But just to show y'all around the bag here, I just love how he did this color blocking. It is just so, so nice. And I've been telling myself, too, that I want to add another Maryland to my collection. I really, really do because I just love this bag. It does come with feet at the bottom. Very real, well constructed. As y'all can see, the hardware looks so nice on it. And then the organization is what really gets me too. So you do get two outside pockets here on either side. And then unzipping it here, you do have your main compartment. And let me pull, I actually store my um, SLGs in my bag. So you do get a strap with the bag if you want to crossbody it. So here is the inside of this bag. It does come with a zip pocket. And then on the other side, you get a slip pocket. So yes, yeah, such a really good bag. And again, for $298, you can't beat it. Even though this bag is reasonably priced, you can even get it for a lot lower. I know that I paid around 100 and some change for this bag. But if this bag never went on sale and stayed at $298, I can definitely still see myself buying it for that price because it's just that good. Now, this next bag that I'm going to show y'all, I wish that I could say the same that I would pay retail price for it, but I will not. I don't even know how Michael Kors came up with the retail price for this bag. But the next bag that I'm going to show y'all is actually from his outlet. Now, don't get me wrong, y'all. Y'all, this bag is everything. This is one of my favorite bum bags. I just love how well he constructed this bag. But why is this bag retailing for $548? Like, why? Please answer that for me, Michael Kors. <laughs> I do not get it, but I will tell y'all that you can definitely find this bag on sale. My friend actually purchased this bag for me for my birthday for only $89. And y'all, I think that price is very reasonable for this bag because you're going to get a little accessory piece here in the front. Oh, and there is something. Oh, that's a little tag hanging out. I was going to say, there's something on there. But you get an accessory piece in the front, which is actually removable from the bag. So I do like that. There also is a zip uh, little pocket here in the front. There is a pocket back here and then here is the main compartment and i do have my slgs in there and this is how it looks so really nice size bag y'all and then i like to actually wear this bag across my like my chest but you can either wear it as a waist bag too if you wanted to but yeah this bag y'all i highly recommend um <laughs> retail 548 i don't know about that but getting it on sale for under $100 is a win-win in my book. <laughs> so the bag coming in next, y'all, is my Brahmin Medium Dutchbury in this color Pink Cosmo. This is also another brand, y'all, that I just absolutely adore. This brand, I'm telling y'all, they do color so well. All of their bags are so vibrant. I just love it. And I love it even when they put prints on the back too because they do such a great job at it. Now, this color, y'all, is not available on the website, but there are other colors available. And this is one bag, y'all, that I can honestly say hasn't really went up in price. So when I purchased this bag, I got it last year for $295. That is the retail price. And y'all, it's so affordable that I do not mind paying retail at all because I paid retail for this bag here. But let me tell y'all, I did pull out my very first medium Duxbury bag, right? This is my very first one. Ooh, and this goes good with my outfit. Hmm. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> But this, y'all, is in the color Tarte. This is a bad bag right here, y'all. 
This is very, very nice. So I got this bag in 2019, so five years ago, right? And at the time, the bag retailed for $275. I did get it on sale, but as you guys can see, retail $275 five years ago, and now it's only $295. Like, you just cannot beat it. When it comes to the craftsmanship of this bag, they can definitely sell these bags for more than what they're retailing for. But I will say, though, this is something that I wanted to point out because I did notice it when I purchased that bag, how the interior has changed. So I want to show you all the inside of this bag. It actually has this real suede, like I don't know if it's real suede or if it's microfiber. It, it kind of feels like real suede though, y'all. But look at the interior of this bag. It is like this suede like material, right? Very, very, very nice. Versus... This one here, which I mean, it's okay, but I just feel like the one that I got back in 2019, it had more of a luxurious feel to it just because it does have that, um, that suede like material. But here with this one here, it's just like, uh, be like a polyester lining, I guess. It's not suede. So I do hate that Brahmin changed that, but all in all, I do still think this bag is definitely worth it. And I'll take you all around this one too. Here is the side and the back. You do get a back pocket here, which I really like because I'm able to even like fit my phone down in there. And then here is the bottom. It does come with feet. And then again, here is the interior. So you get a zip pocket on one side and then you also get a or two slip pockets pen pocket or pen um, holder and then a little key holder there. This bag also comes with a little strap here. This strap can be either worn as a short shoulder or you can lengthen it and turn it into a crossbody. So the next bag that I would like to recommend y'all is going to be the Dooney and Burke Small Russell in the Monogram print. Now, if you are one of those Dooney lovers that have tried the medium Russell, but it just didn't work out for you, then I am telling you to please give the small Russell a try. Y'all, this bag actually shocked me, okay? It really shocked me because even though it's called the small Russell, y'all, there is nothing small about this bag, okay? <laughs> this bag is just so, so good. And it actually retails at $328, but you can definitely get this bag on sale, y'all, for well under $120. Um, it does come in a variety of colors. I do have it in this cream color. I like the avocado color. It's really gorgeous. They have like a brown, even like an orange type color too. Now, I am actually a Dooney and Burke affiliate partner, so I'll definitely leave my link below if you want to go and check out this bag. And I do want to thank you in advance for using my link as well. But to take you guys around this bag here, this is the side of her. She is just so gorgeous, y'all. She is such a bomb bag. She does come with a zip pocket on the back. And y'all know we love our outside zip pockets. And then also, too, I know a lot of y'all love feet on the bag. So look, you do get feet on this bag here. And this bag, y'all, is just so gorgeous on the inside, too. If you're one that's kind of, like, tired of the... um the red interior which me by the way i love the red interior but if you want a little bit of a change then i would say i would highly recommend this one because it does come with this cream interior which is very very nice you do get a zip and slip pocket in the back and then you get two slips on this side and as y'all can see rolling around there i actually have the little monogram um <laughs> uh charms there but this bag does come with the charms that you can hook onto the bag but when I store it, I do take this off and just lay it down in the bag. And then here is your key keeper. This bag does have a snap closure, so you can snap it like so. And yeah, you're good to go. And then for the strap, too, the strap isn't like too horrible. It barely like, like I have to work with it to get it on with just one hand, but it will go. And it's just so, so nice. And I also love how this bag looks on my frame as well. The next Dooney and Burke bag I wanna recommend is one that I recently did a video on, and it is my Dooney and Burke satchel in this Florentine fuchsia color, y'all. This bag is just everything. She is just everything. Now, I will say, y'all, that when it comes to Dooney and Burke satchels, their satchels have really increased in pricing. Now, this one here is actually uh, retailing for $528. 
which is crazy crazy but you can get this bag on sale for around like 250 uh, sometimes you can catch it a little under $200, but it's very, very rare that you do. Um, I love this bag style too, though, because it not only comes in Florentine leather, but it also comes in like pebbled leather as well, um, Sorrento leather. The options are plenty, and then the sizes are plenty as well. So again, I have it in the size, um, the regular size here, and I'll show you guys around it. It does come with the tassels with the suede interior or suede inside there. Very nice touch. Here is the back of it and the bottom. And I won't actually spend too much time on this because like I said, I did just do a video on the satchel style. So I'll link it below if you want more detail on it. But I do have it in this size. And then I do also have it in the mini size too, y'all. And this is actually one that I didn't think that I would like. But I really love this size, y'all. So this is actually the mini in this ecru color. And this color is everything, y'all. It is just so, so good. Now, when it comes to the mini, though, it does retail for $4.68. And if you've had your eye on it, then I do hope that you are able to pick one up. Okay, y'all, so we have finally made it to the last bag. I know this video is super long, but I just really wanted to take my time and choose bags that I would honestly recommend you getting. I don't feel like you can go wrong with any of the bags that I've mentioned today. And this last one here, y'all, I did really leave the best for last. Recently picked up this bag this year, y'all, and I have been thoroughly enjoying it. Like, hands down, this bag is so, so good, y'all. So the bag that I am talking about is my Dooney and Burke messenger bag in this gorgeous natural color. This bag is actually still available, y'all, so I'll definitely link uh, my video below on this bag that I did on it. This is kind of sideways right now just because of how I have it stuffed, but it does go, like, straight on this bag. FYI, <laughs> but yeah, this is the side of her. She is just so good, y'all. I love the slim profile of this bag because it looks really nice against my frame and I am still able to hold a good bit in here. And again, as y'all see, you do get that outside zip pocket. Very, very nice. I love the equestrian strap here too. Like, Dooney and Burke did so good with this bag and I do still want to add another one to my collection. I do want it in the Florentine leather though, so as soon as I see one, then I'm going to go ahead and pull the trigger on it. But this here bag, y'all, retails for $388, and I think that it is definitely worth it. Definitely worth it. Of course, you can get this on sale for like $180 and under, but for $388, I do think that it is a great price. All right, y'all, so that is that. That actually completes this video. I'm going to say that was a lot of work, but again, I did have fun with it. Let me know in the comments below if there are any bags that I talked about that you have your eye on. Also, too, chime in and let me know if there's any bags that you would recommend. And also, too, if you are a YouTube content creator and you want to do this video, feel free to do so. I would love to watch. This isn't a tag by any means, but hey... I would love to see your recommendations. <laughs> so I do hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, then certainly give it a thumbs up. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.